Tim's workshop. Here back uh, off a of vacation and decided to get uh, back to making videos again. Um, today I got uh, the Starcraft behind me. Uh, it's a 90, 96 Starcraft. Uh, the fuel tank, um, I wanted to clean it out, so I took it out of the uh, boat and uh, as I was taking it out, I found that uh, some, uh, the pickup uh, fitting going into the fuel tank was uh, really corroded bad and it uh, basically broke off when I uh, was trying to get the hose off of it. So, um, good thing I decided to clean the tank because I found out I had another problem. So, um, Anyway, I'm going to back up. I've already started putting things back together on the tank, and I ended up getting some new parts. But then I went, oh, I really should make a video of this and show everybody. So, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, back up on this and show you what I've done, and um, hopefully it'll be helpful to you. All right, thanks. Okay, so this is about a 25-gallon tank came out of the Starcraft and uh, what I did is I uh, had to back up to show you exactly what the problem was and uh, why I went into this uh, replacing parts um, first off the uh, this is the pickup over here and uh, down in the bottom this fits really <laughs> Once you get it screwed in, this is actually right on the bottom of the tank. And you'll pick up the fuel in through here and it goes into the uh, your squeeze bulb into the motor. Uh, this side over here is a vent. This is only just for air breathing um, to uh, make sure that you're not getting, uh, you get the right uh, fuel load going into your motor in the first place. So you got to have a vent. So... The reason I got this loose is because it's a tight fit putting all this back in there and uh, you have to have this loose until you get this uh, screwed on and then, and or at least started and then you can put the rest of this uh, together in the uh, um, barbed fitting it'll go inside it also and to put these uh, fittings back on you have to use a uh, thread sealant this is a got a this is a Teflon uh, base uh permatex and uh i'm trying to read here see where it says uh teflon but i was told it has a uh, teflon in it so it's good for putting uh fuel fittings back together on marine i got it from the marine store that's what the guy gave to me so um the reason i uh had to replace this fitting. This one here is still good. It's just for the breather anyway. For the uh, so, but this one here is a fuel pickup, and this is the old hose, and this is what's left of the fitting. Not much. It was uh, it broke off in the hose when I was taking it off, and so I just got a new piece of hose, new fitting, new pickup tube. The pickup tube, um, when you put the new pickup tube in, the pickup tube is like, uh, for this tank, um, they got different lengths of this for bigger tanks, but this one here, I got uh, a 12 inch. So I had to cut it to fit, so I, I laid it up against the other hose that I took off and measured it and cut it. So it's exactly the right length for putting this back in the tank once it's threaded, threaded on. So that's how that works, and then also the uh, your fuel gauge with the old cork on it. <laughs> uh, I tested that with uh, my um, ohm meter, and it still works. You can uh, raise it up and down, and have your uh, test meters on your ground and on the uh, uh, positive hookup there. Um, I centered that down so I get a little better ground pickup uh, bonding and then these washers and this washer and nut I'm going to clean them up real good and then the but so get it all nice and wire brushed and cleaned up so it uh, will have a good contact 
eventually the I need to replace this stuff but if it still works I'm not going to worry about it right now uh, so um, and like I was going to say this this gets down right on the bottom of the tank as well so you can't really put this uh, on there until you have this in there and then you can set it into the hole and screw it on uh, if you try to put this on and then try to put the whole thing in there it's not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna fit all right so um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, put this uh, back together and uh, this actually fits inside here like that and then you put it down in the hole and turn it around and pull this uh, this uh, pickup tube up a little bit so you can get it in there and then once you get it up there um, this piece goes on top so like that and then you just start a screw here 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 there's also a gasket on here I guess I should have showed you that there's a rubber gasket I don't know if you can see it but right here there's a rubber gasket that goes all the way around so make sure that gets back on there and then put this back on put a couple screws in there then you can go ahead and thread this in all the way that's why the barbs off because you got to be able to turn it past this uh, fuel uh, uh, air fitting and before you put this on make sure you uh, put some more of your thread sealant on the barb and the fitting before you thread it down and don't overly tighten it because this is plastic so you get it down until it's it's snug in there and pointing the right direction so you'll be able to get your hoses on the other hose for the vent is still on the uh, motor or on the boat and the clamps all the clamps are stainless steel uh, thumb screw or uh, uh, stainless steel hose clamps and uh, so they're all good there's some right here for the actual fuel uh, fill tube the fill tube still good shape so we're just going to leave that and the uh, vapor hose it was still good the fuel hose um, because this had uh, basically welded itself in there I had to cut it to get it off plus the hose was getting pretty bad so got a brand new hose for it don't have to worry about leaks or anything so once I get all this back together and get it in the boat which I'll uh, continue on some more videos here I will um, uh, I will test it with fuel I'm not gonna fill it up all the way first I'm gonna put enough in there so I can use the squeeze ball to get it up joggle it around a little bit you know make sure none of this is leaking anywhere and uh, if it's good, then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, fill it up the rest of the way and go test, uh, test run it out in the lake. And uh, if that, I'll keep an eye on it, make sure it's not leaking there. If everything looks nice and dry, we're good to go. And periodically check all this stuff because, like I say, you got to keep an eye on anything that's fuel to get in there. And there's a, a opening... Uh, right now I got it all open where you can actually see everything in there but um, once I have it closed up there's a, a round um, cover in the back of the boat you pull that out and you can actually inspect everything inside there from that round cover all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this back together and then the next video uh, portion of this video will be uh, reinstalling it in the boat okay Alrighty, so uh, I have this uh, ply sheet of plywood down over the top uh, where the, I put the tank in. Uh, the board that actually uh, goes across here, that closes it out, um, it's in my shed right now. So um, once, uh, I'm going to run this thing uh, for, for a while and make sure that nothing uh, 
all my connections are just leaking. Um, and then uh, if it's all good, then I can close it out and get ready for fishing. So, um, anyway, let me uh, get down here and show you what uh, where the connections are and uh, a few tips on uh, what to do with this. All right, so anyway, I got the uh, top on, got the uh, connections on for the uh, fuel gauge sensor. Uh, got the uh, hoses hooked up uh, to the vent line and the fuel pickup. I got a new fuel pickup hose on. I got the stainless steel clamps back on, the barb connection into the pickup tube, and um, the, all, uh, both fittings, uh, got them sealed in. Uh, they've been sitting for 72 hours with Permatex, uh, Teflon based uh, sealant from uh, the marine uh, place that I go to. <coughs> and, uh, the uh, fill tube, uh, marine rules, you're supposed to have uh, two clamps on the both connections. So up here, yeah, I have the two clamps up to the where the fill uh, tube uh, connection is, and then the vent tubes next to it, all, all stainless steel tubes. Uh, these are marine uh, fuel hoses. Uh, this one here is uh, getting a little worse for wear, but uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it. Uh, maybe next season I'm going to put brand new uh, filler tube hose and new um, vent hose on it as well. Uh, for now, we're good. And uh, let me get the board up here and I'll show you what I'm going to do to close this out once I check the leaks. So, there's the uh, tank in there. I have the uh, cross members that uh, I got to put back on over the top. Uh, they were in with pop rivets. I'm going to put uh, uh, self-threading uh, top bolts back in. Uh, make sure nothing's sticking up where it's going to interfere with the board. The, the board that goes across here uh, goes from from here all the way back and then it has a cutout for the fuel um, uh, fuel connections so you can get into it later if you have to and that's by taking these access panels off that's why uh, they're off right now get access to get the board in there uh, I cleaned it all out and washed it and vacuumed it so uh, once I have the uh, cross members back on, the marine plywood, the marine plywood also has a um, access panel here that goes in for storage for uh, whatever you want to put in the storage area. Uh, this is my uh, <coughs> live well. And those of you that have a live well that don't know how to drain it, if you didn't get the owner's manual, you just pull this out and the water goes down the tube and out the boat and then to fill it there's a there's a fill tube inside here that puts all the water in and then once it gets up to the uh, the top it has a sensor that uh, shuts it off yep uh, another tip might as well put in the video while I'm here um, pull fasteners when you drill them out and pop the heads, when you put it back in, you put the self-tapping uh, bolts back in. That way you don't have to worry about putting pole fasteners back in the boat. It's easy to get back in it if you have to. All right.
Well, I got it running. And uh, I don't see no leaks. Drive it up a little bit. smoky which is normal for a two-stroke you don't see that when you're out in the water not when you're got it up to speed and running anyway there we go All right, it looks like I can close her up I don't see no leaks well I got some uh, lessons learned off this uh, tank uh, fixing project we had uh, that I showed you so um, a couple things that came up uh, that I uh, learned on this it was first off uh, make sure that you take pictures of stuff you take apart because if you put it together and you don't look at the pictures you took it doesn't do you much good and I ended up getting uh, two of the uh, fittings backwards on the top cover so I looked at my pictures and went, oh, it's supposed to go this way. So I had to take it apart and redo it. But either way, you got the idea on how to take it apart and put it together. So um, just always take pictures. And then uh, another thing that came up is I went to start the engine and uh, the starter uh, wouldn't engage it uh, the Bendix would just come up and spin or just spin but it wouldn't go up and engage into the flywheel uh, so after scratching my head on that one a little bit and watching a couple other YouTube videos I realized that uh, uh, I wasn't getting the right uh, voltage and the battery had 12.5 uh, volts so I'm going, oh, where am I losing the voltage on this? <laughs> and so um, I looked in my uh, compartment where I had the, uh, the, the terminals hooked up to the battery. And my, I have two negatives in that compartment. One's for my auxiliary battery that I don't have one hooked up. I do have a second battery, but I normally only used one. And then I take an extra one with me when I go out, you know, fishing or wherever I go with the boat but I don't actually have it hooked up so anyway what I did is hook up the battery uh, negative side to a, a cable that wasn't hooked to nothing <laughs> and so there's where my voltage loss was so I took that off put the right uh, uh, negative terminal on and voila it started so if you ever have that problem always check your electrical um, anyway, so that's uh, lessons learned, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did on uh, the fuel tank, uh, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment and uh, uh, you know uh, subscribe. That'd be that'd be awesome. All right, thanks.